Well, hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our time of devotion as we all seek to spiritually grow before the Lord. And, uh, and you know, so many things are beyond our reach these days with all of our restrictions, but uh, our spiritual growth is not being restricted at all. And in fact, I hope that during these months that have gone by that we've been able to take advantage of some of the changes in our routines and habits so that we can uh, include uh, time for devotion and spiritual growth. So I'll continue to use Joyce Roop's book, uh, The Cup of Our Life, and uh, go ahead and get your cup. If you have not already, we'll use that a little bit later on for our guided meditation. So today I'm going to share with you some reflections on uh, recognizing resistances. And I want to start with a quote from Macarena Whitaker, who says, I am entirely ready to have the chains that keep me bound be broken. I am entirely ready for the walls I've built around myself to be torn down. I am entirely ready to give up my need to control every situation. I am entirely ready to let go of my resentments. I am entirely ready to grow up. What a wonderful quotation, a, a wonderful set of goals or proclamation of what um, the, the place that you are at, if you are ready for any or all of those. But one of the most powerful teaching stories that I've read is, is told in Jack Cornfield's book, A Path with Heart. A father is away from home when robbers come, set fire to the house, and take his young son away with them. The father returns to the ashes of his house and believes his son has died there. He grieves uncontrollably for many months. The son manages to get free from his abductors and to find his way home. He knocks on the door and cries, Papa, Papa. But the father refuses to open the door, thinking it's one of the neighborhood children haunting him. Eventually, the son goes away, never to return. Well, in this story, the father resists the truth. He resists the truth that can bring him joy and freedom from his loss because he clings so much to what he thinks is the truth. That's why he cannot embrace the joy. When we are in pain, we can easily live with illusions. We may think such things as, well, no one loves me. Uh, nobody cares about me. Uh, I will never be happy again. Or it was all my fault. Or, I can't do that. I don't know enough yet. You can come up with other phrases like that, I'm sure, yourself. The beginning of healing may be there, but we refuse to let it in because of our resistance. Our resistance can take many forms as well. Uh, they might be a silent withdrawal. A resistance might take the form of apathy. It may be running away. It may involve talking incessantly. It may involve defending and challenging or constantly being busy. That could be another way of resisting. It could be ignoring or pretending not to understand. Our resistance could take the form of being critical 
or making excuses. Resistance is like placing a hand over the opening of a cup. Uh, nothing can come in, nothing can be poured out of the cup either. Both directions are stymied. Uh, so too with our spiritual life. Now Martha, the sister of Lazarus, did not believe her brother Lazarus could be restored to life. She insisted that he had been dead too long. Uh, Martha resisted the possibility that Jesus could call him out of his tomb and out of his deadness. So this is a time to reflect in your own life now. Is there anything in your life that you think cannot be restored once again to life? Is there anything in your own life that you think cannot be restored back to life? And again, thinking of resistance to growth or resistance to healing, uh, is there anything that is blocking your spiritual growth right now? Anything that's blocking your growth? Think on that. So to get beyond those resistances, as the first quote talked about it, uh, we need to be ready to, to let go of those things that are not helpful anymore and perhaps never have been. And so our breath prayer reflects that truth and that goal. Go ahead and relax now if you are not already relaxed. and Just kind of take a quick inventory of your your body, your muscles, any places where they are tense, just loosen them up a little bit, shake it out uh, from your head to your toes, and that will make it easier to meditate, to pray, to be open to spiritual growth. And the breath prayer is so easy, it's, it's the same thing inhaling as exhaling, which is to say the words, let go. So as we take a deep breath in, we pray, let go. And as we exhale, once again, we pray, let go. Inhale, let go. Exhale, let go. Go ahead and do that on your own for a couple of times. Deep breathing. Let go. And when you're ready, go ahead and take your cup and put one hand over the top of the cup, such as this. And again, think about in your own life, your own uh, resistances, uh, your own refusals. When you think about all those things that you've resisted, how have those resistances become blockades to your spiritual growth? How have those resistances of defending or challenging or talking or denying or being apathetic, how have they become walls, blockades to growth? I'd like you to picture yourself held in God's hands. Let's try to, at the same time, loosen our grip on our worries, our insecurities, and we all worry, we all have insecurities, but let's try to 
loosen that strong grip that we often have on those things. And then listen to God speak to you about trust. And symbolic of a new openness, take your hand off of your cup now. And notice how it is so ready to receive. And when you're ready, hold that cup to your heart as a sign of your readiness to surrender to God. And as you do that, hear the words of scripture. Jesus said, take away the stone. And Martha, the sister of the dead man, said, Lord, already there's a stench because he's been dead for four days. The resistance to God's grace and truth. Let's pray. A God of truth, help me to discover my resistances to my growth. Shine your light on my illusions that I may see the illusions for what they are. Uncover my fears, reveal my strongholds, soften my grip on my own security. Open my closedness and then lead me to greater freedom and to inner healing. Let go. We pray all of this in the strong name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Well, blessings to you for the remainder of this day and for the rest of this week. We'll see you next time, my friends.